We now move on to the Outstanding Founder Award, which recognizes an individual for their achievement in leadership and vision, establishing a successful nonprofit organization dedicated to providing important charitable services to the community, or for improving the quality of life for individuals and families living within Orange County. Please turn your attention to the screens. Janae is a role model in Orange County. You know, she's somebody who struggled with homelessness herself. And when she was able to get back on her feet, she's taken her experience and she's helping other women and their children. She is such a genuine, transparent human being. And she chose not to be defined as a victim. And I have to contribute it to her faith. Janae is uh, tremendously sensitive to human needs and then is able to um, attract people that can implement in a powerful way the solutions to the human challenges that, that Janae sees that really provide people uh, an opportunity to, to live life at its fullest. Janae embodies the values of our mission for Grandma's House of Hope. Compassion, love, respect, acceptance. We're facing a crisis in our country and in Orange County with homelessness. And Janae is one of those people that has opened up her home, brought other women in and their families, given them the services they need in order to help them get back on their feet. And that's why it's so critical to have people like Janae in our lives. Part of Janae's vision for Grandma's House of Hope is for everyone to have a safe home. Oftentimes people don't want to talk about homelessness or human trafficking. And when you live in Orange County, People don't think it happens here, but Janae is somebody who's willing to bring the issue to the forefront and who understands we need to educate people in our community about this crisis. And if we had more people like Janae in our communities, we wouldn't have some of the problems we have. It was a real privilege to get to know her early on as she was formulating her ideas, and then a tremendous privilege now Grandma's House of Hope operates the community center, which uh, they have dubbed the uh, Hope Works Education and Enrichment Center. And uh, we think that's a wonderful name for, for what they do. In some of our apartment communities, the community center is uh, more like a museum. Here, it's a very active set of programs that goes from mid-morning till pretty late in the evening. Uh, we're committed to an after-school program, and then some of the parenting classes are going on into eight o'clock at night. I think what Grandma's House of Hope does in a community center like this is um, really in, ensure the success of the families. We've worked very closely with Janae and her organization with human trafficking and the fact that Janae provides an alternative place for these women and their children to live has had a tremendous impact on the issue in Orange County. Janae uh, doesn't see difficulties in life, uh, she sees enrichment opportunities in life and I really admire that about her. Janae, congratulations. This honor could not have gone to a better human being. Janae, I'm so proud that you received this award today. You are truly deserving of it. And I know there's many people whose lives that you have touched and you've touched mine as well. Congratulations. Let's welcome Janae Kreitner to accept the Outstanding Founder Award. Wow. Um, you know, it's really dangerous to give a passionate founder a microphone in front of nearly a thousand people <laughs> and 120 seconds. That's a challenge. Um, you know, I think back at 2004 when we first got started and, you know, my family was packing 10 bags of food in the driveway for a local motel and we had one home for women in crisis with 10 beds. And this last year we received 7,000 calls for help and touched the lives of 3,500 people. Oh, I, I... <laughs> Wait, 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 I have 120 seconds to think of an army of people that you know, have um, come to help us empower the invisible populations of Orange County. And you'll please forgive me if I don't try to list you all because I would leave someone out and that would just hurt me. 
Um, but I do need to thank my board and my staff and, and my funders and my nominators. I love you all in this room right now. <laughs> 20 years ago, um, I was abandoned on the street outside of Disneyland with 20 bucks in my pocket, two suitcases that were not on rollers in those days, and an eight-year-old son to take care of. As I huddled in a phone booth on the corner of Catella and Harbor, I wondered if the world could get any harder than it was at that moment. <laughs> I found out that it could. But I believe that all things work together for good, and that if this past experience had not been part of my story, then I would have never found my path to what I'm doing today and my true purpose. My story may have had a tragic beginning, but there is transformative energy in this room, and many of you helped both me and my son get back on our feet. And I need to applaud you for that, I really do. <laughs> When we first got started, I think it was in large part because I overwhelmed my husband by continually bringing home a homeless woman from the street and putting her up in a spare bedroom. <laughs> um, but you know, he was pretty cool with it. And uh, after all, once upon a time, he did that very thing for me. He rescued me from the street. He gave me a safe place and the essential gift of time to heal. Patrick, honey, you will always be my prince. I also have to give a shout out to my kids because you all have to understand and I, I want to illustrate that when you invest in the life of a mother, you invest in the lives of her children as well. And they're all here today. To my son, Jeremy, who was that little eight-year-old boy and who discovered his duty to safeguard and give back to the community as both a police officer and a Coast Guard reservist, I couldn't be prouder of you, son. Calvin, a graduate of the Orange County School of the Arts, look at you, you're a nominee today, and I'm so proud of you. And finally, my love goes out to my unofficially adopted daughter, Vivian, who was the winner of the National Association of Children, Homeless Children and Youth Award in 2009, and our foster son, Daryl. I'm one of the lucky ones. Someone believed in me and helped me to reinvent joy in my life. Someone with unselfish intentions shared hope along the way and invested in me. That's how Grandma's House of Hope got started. I pray you will join me in continuing to give it life. Thank you very much.